right, welcome to Vans Drumming. Randy Van Patten here in the vault. Once again, today we're going to talk a little bit about some funk again. I've had more requests. Let's try some more funk. Uh, so uh, this is number three, I believe, out of our uh, funk series here at Vans Drumming. Um, this particular one is going to deal with um, just quarter notes on the actual hi-hat. And so you're basically just going to be playing one, two, three, four. Now the difference here is, uh, unlike the other two beats we've played, is your snare and bass drum are not always, like your bass drum and hi-hat are not always playing the same pattern. Uh, in this particular one, your bass drum's all over, and so is your snare drum, and so forth. So your hi-hat's the only thing counting one, two, three, and four. So let's take a quick look at this beat. Here it is, somewhere down here. Cool. Um, and, and measure one, and measure one, well, it's all one measure. In beat one, as you can see, you have a bass drum and a hi-hat on uh, beat one. And then you have the snare drum placed on the and of one, and then on the uh as the bass drum. So one and uh, that's pretty easy stuff. Ready? Here we go, here we go, one and uh. Crazy stuff, I see. So. Uh, now, this is where it gets really difficult. Beat two, you actually have bass drum on two and hi-hat and the bass drum on the end of two. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy stuff. Beat number two for you here, ladies and gentlemen. That's two ands for you folks out there counting. And then we have beat three, which is even crazier. Uh, same as beat two, except we're replacing the snare drum with the bass drum on beat three. And the snare drum is being played on three, and the and is being played with the bass drum. And now we get to beat number four, where we deal with a dotted note. Have we ever dealt with a dotted note before? I'm not so sure. It's a dotted eighth note. And if you're not so sure what dotted eighth notes are, you're going to have to look it up, or maybe I'll have to go into that in another video, because dotted eighth notes uh, can be a little confusing to understand, especially in the short period of time that we're here together today. So, uh, a dotted eighth note is on the uh, actual E of uh, four. Therefore, because it's a dot, it equals all the rest of the three parts of the beat there. So, equals the E, the and, and the uh. So, the snare drum, uh, it's a four E, four E. So, it's bass drum on a four and hi-hat, and then the E is the snare drum. Four E. Let me work through this beat now and see if I can't do it slowly for you. One and a two and three and four E. That is correct. I'll slow that down for you. Two, ready. And a little bit faster for you. Kind of a cool little groove, not too crazy, not too wild, but again, it's uh, kind of funky. It's not just a straightforward. A little funky, a little funky. And of course, try to play something that would feel like that kind of a beat in your fill. Try to get something a little bit groovy, something fun, and not just a little bit of which you heard me say now in two other videos, I believe. Funky videos. Whatever, what you want to do with it. Anyway, have some fun. Bandsdrumming.com. Hope you enjoyed this funky lesson. 
Alrighty then. Have a great day. Later.